All right, let's dive in, Smoltzy. It's one of the coolest things we do. Yeah. Absolutely love it. There's no way to cookie cut it. You don't do it one way. Want to look at some of these kids' athletic movements and maybe give them just a little right. nugget to kind of help them when they right. go in the backyard and they start messing around. Okay, first one, little field in at shortstop. You do a lot of things right. I like the breakdown. I like the fact that you're gathering to your belt right there. That's an old Jimmy Williams on field two. Mm -hmm. One thing I'll say is keep working through the ball and don't fall into this rhythm of just wanting to throw everything from three quarter because eventually you're going to have to go in the hole and get on top of something. So I'd be working through that, create more momentum, going towards first base, get on top of the baseball, use this to kind of pull down, boom, and repeat it. You get lazy here, you're going to make a lot of errors that you shouldn't be making, all right? Watch some Xander Bogarts. Watch some of these guys come through the baseball. All right, laser show. Here we go. First off, love to set up the sunglasses, the hat backwards, all of it's working. <laughs> if you're going to do that drill, stick your nose in there. Give me a little bend. Get down in there. Look at Dansby Swanson, Charlie Culberson, these guys. They're in it. Stick your face in it. Have your nose behind your glove. But I like the fact that you're working those drills at that young of an age. Get your head down in that. Get your chest in, be a little bit more athletic. You see Ron Washington, Atlanta Braves, they do this every day. All right, let's dive into a little hitting. Okay, Armani right here. At the end of the day, you get barrel to baseball really good. I would just like to see a little bit more synced up. Don't get so, look at your head. I say this all the time. If you're shooting skeet, you want to see it right here with two eyes, right? Watch Miggy, he doesn't lose his head. Boom, Stay, everything stays square. Look at my head. Boom, square, not make contact and fall back like this. But I like the hack. Take a look at some Miguel Cabrera. Look at this side angle, perfect. Keep the head square. That would be the first thing I say to you. All right, next, let's do it. All right, my man. Where's that ball going? Watch him look back at his <laughs> elbow right here. I, there, there's only one guy, pause this, there's only one guy that really focuses on his back elbow when I think about it, it's Alex Bregman. And he has a very different way. No Bryce Harper? Of go, yeah, Bryce doesn't concern himself too much with it. He'll, I, I'm not a big believer in worrying about so much where my elbow, I think yeah. he'd get athletic. I would relax that back elbow. For you, my man, you need one arm drill in the worst way, okay? I want you to realize your right arm is a steering wheel, okay? Don't just pull off everything. That's bucket. Smoltzy's going splitty down and away, backdoor slider, and there's nothing you can do. So I would get off the tee, one arm drill, bottom hand, and just work right here, back of your hand, just to understand bat path right here. Oh my, those are roasters. <laughs> All right. And just understand bat path and understand that it takes two arms to swing a baseball bat. I love the fact that you're looking for some pop. Look at Your mom been, cannot be happy with no, the holes you're putting no, in the backyard. He's been, <laughs> he's been there for a while. Wow. <laughs> Fill that in. Fill that in. <laughs> and I wanted to bring up this man because can you load your back hip a little bit more? Can you get a little bit more into your inside of your back knee? 100%. A, oh, whoa, look whoa, at whoa, the guy whoa, whoa. flipping. <laughs> who's, the, who's this absolute monster? I knew. I knew. Are you I, kidding me? I knew you were going to pick that up. I want to take lessons from CM Punk. <laughs> Are you, Lauren, I saw this. They sent it to me. I'm like, that guy makes the show immediately. Look at that. That dude is jacked. He's charging a Look million dollars an hour, and you're paying it because you're scared to death of him. But this is a good lefty hack. Switch hitting. I love a lot of what you're doing. I would say ride that back leg a little bit longer. What I mean by that is you come off your, you come off your backside real quick, right? Swing's great, but you're here. Boom. Ride that thing, man. Really get into it and feel that. Create a little bit more power from both sides of the plate. Great hack, though. That's hilarious. That guy's yoked. 
All right, go ahead. <laughs> I knew this kid had no chance once I saw the guy <laughs> throwing. Well, here we're going to see similar act activities of what you described hitting wise. I'm a big believer. Stay inside your knees for the for the for the weight distribution. That's he does a good, nice huh? job getting down off the mound, although it'll be a temporary mound. I still like it. And the only thing you worry about is when that front knee gets down and straighten and then bend it quicker. Like you get on that front knee and it gets locked up and that's how you alleviate your arm by getting off that knee. Straight leg bent and then follow through. I think there's nothing really wrong with that. Everything's in balance. And when you're in balance, you can throw an athletic pitch without the risk of running into injuries. He's not running away from his arm. He's staying inside his left knee. And I would, I would, here's what I would do. As a young pitcher, I would over exaggerate the follow through. What I mean by that is when you get through, hold this a little longer. Oh, almost cramped, almost cramped right there. <laughs> hold it, but get into this position right here so that you can feel what it's like to fall in this position. What he's doing is okay, because in the game action, you're gonna go towards home plate, you're gonna run off because he's velocity driven. But what I like to see is if you can get to a landing point where you can hold, 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 and then follow through, you get more connected with your lower body. Great job on this one. Like That's that. a nice, nice wind up. Yeah. Now, this young man is uh, got some stats behind it, by the way. He's struck out a lot of guys in this game, I got a feeling. But out of the stretch, you know, for that temporary mound, you know, I don't mind at this age you pitching out of the stretch only to simplify mechanics. But see how he gets down through his, his uh, lower half and he gets on the inside of his foot, which I like. Because when you can land on the inside of your foot, see how he finishes? Yes. You can finish like that. When you land on the outside of your foot, the only way to go is to rotate around. A lot of young players and a lot of young pitchers get outside to outside, and the only place they can go is outside, fall off to first base. He looks like he's landing on the inside of his foot, which is great. He's so got not, that not short a lot, arm action, too. Not a lot at this point to really critique. Oh, yeah, good call. He's, uh, he's definitely throwing down the line throwing for strikes. That's nice. You've had two good ones. Oh, a little hammer time. Yeah, so throwing a lot of breaking balls here. What, what I would like to see is if we can see, other than a breaking ball, a fastball, because I want to see what his front leg does. See how it opens up a little quick? And I would close, I would hold the left knee a little longer. You throw across your body with a breaking ball, which I like. If you're too open, Okay, that consistency runs away. And what I mean by being too open, when you post up and you go to throw your breaking ball, you need to be a little bit across the toe line. So if this line was the direct line going down, typically on the fastball, you want to land there. Okay, almost pulled a groin on that one because that one. <laughs> but when you throw a breaking ball, you want to be just a little bit across the line so that you have something to pull with and to create whip. Because if you land open, yeah. You don't, now it's exposing your arm and all you have is your hand to break the ball. So I always say, if you want to throw a great breaking ball or in the big leagues, a great slider, you look at most of those guys, they throw across their body a little bit to create that whip. And that's the one thing I always used in my bullpen was a line like this, fastball, finish right there. This thing moves. So if I'm going to go downhill, I, I better. Gotcha. And then breaking ball, just a little bit toe across the line. So. That's the only thing I'd like to see a fastball to kind of cross reference that. But that break on flat ground is pretty darn good. Those are three good ones.